Welcome back guys, uh, back doing a little more trap prep. I've got a uh, bunch of traps still to do. Uh, I've actually already kicked off my season uh, with some beaver trapping. But uh, I still got all the rest of my footholds and some corner bears still to die and wax. So uh, in the bucket right here, I'm just going with a white speed dip. When I first got up here yesterday morning, around 8ish, you know, I drove through the night. Uh, we had three inches of snow. It rained all day yesterday, uh, mixed, you know, with some sleet. And uh, for the most part, all the snow is gone. We're supposed to get some more flurries today, but uh, it ain't supposed to amount to anything. So I'm going to go with probably half and half. I'm going to dye half my traps black, half of them white, just so I have a, a mix. Uh, there is still some snow out in the woods where it wasn't so exposed to the uh, rain. So uh, hopefully I can, you know, get some white ones out there to work for me still. So I did, uh, got some white speed dip here. It's one quart container. I mixed up, dumped into this uh, five gallon bucket. And it says uh, two to three pots gasoline, just regular unleaded. I guess the higher octane you use, if you use like a super unleaded, uh, the quicker the drying time. But I've got regular gas for the quads. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, dump three quarts of this into the speed dip then I can go ahead and uh, start dipping my traps Yeah, looks like I might have to make a town run later on tonight when it's dark. Get some more gas. All right. So I'm just going to mix this up real good and uh, we'll start dipping traps. Give us another mix real quick. Well, nothing saying you can't dip these a couple times too, which I might. I just got a piece of wire here so I can hang them up on the line behind me. foothold so I'll, uh, I'm gonna hang these up keep dipping them hang them up and I'll, I'll probably end up dipping them twice Still got all my 120s and 220s to do as well. Like I said, I'll probably split them in half too.
Alright guys, so we got our trap speed dipped, uh, some of them white anyway. Uh, right now we're going to dye some black with this logwood dye. Uh, it says it makes two to three dozen uh, traps. Well, it's actually red in the pack, but it dyes the traps black. Some uh, 120s, corner bears to do, and uh, some footholds. Most of my 110s, I just set them right in the water. But the uh, 220s, I'm going to use for fisher sets, so I'll dye those black. Should have just it was like wicked red. I don't just start getting yeah. that. So this has been on about an hour and a half. Pull one of these traps out, see what it looks like. Looks pretty black to me. So uh, here's one of my 220s. So uh, they should be pretty good. I'll uh, spare you pulling them all out, but uh, I'm going to get these out, throw them in the back of the trailer, let them dry. It's pretty miserable here today and raining, so I don't want to leave them out. So I'll uh, get all the traps out, go let them dry. Hopefully tomorrow I'll better get all these set. Uh, like I said, I got about, well, I got six of these to set for Fisher. Then I have... Like 24 more footholds that I'm gonna set <coughs> uh, further down my line. So uh, that's a little bit on trap prep. 
Uh, the next step in the process obviously would be waxing them uh, minus the cannabis. So I'd wax all my footholds. Uh, the first day I got up here, it was uh, three inches of snow on the ground. It was snowing on my way up here. So uh, waxing would be pretty key so your traps aren't freezing up. Uh, I haven't waxed any of them that I have out yet and I'm probably not going to. Uh, the rest of this week is supposed to be pretty warm so I don't have to worry about traps freezing up. So I'll uh, skip that process uh, maybe down the road after trapping season or, or if I get back up here before the end of December I'll uh, definitely go ahead and wax them you know in case of snow and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna uh, go relax, pull these traps out. Like I said, do that. Go inside, relax a little bit. And uh, I actually went out hunting yesterday for deer. Parked the quad, me and my buddy Kenny. And I wasn't 30 yards into the woods, and uh, I jumped one up. You know, I just got there. Wasn't thinking, you know, hey, I can start hunting immediately as soon as I get off the bike. And uh, I ended up jumping one up. So it's a pretty good spot. It's uh, down by Indian Point is what I call it, uh, where I did my catching uh, fish and making bait or something like that. So uh, we crossed the river. There's a big ridge line over there, and uh, he was laying down right in the side of it. So uh, it's about 11 o'clock now. I'm going to get my backfield in motion here. Try to beat him to the punch today, and uh, hopefully I can bag a buck, you know, while I'm trapping. I only had two weeks uh, to be up here doing the trapping. Um, fortunate enough, and I thank my wife for that. You know, she let me come up here for a couple weeks. <clears throat> um, but that's all I, all I got. I wish I could stay here the whole season. Uh, that's just not possible. So, you know, hopefully, like I said, by before the end of December when uh, the regular season for everything closes, I'll be able to get back up here, do some more trapping, because sure is fun, guys.